Hey guys, welcome to my channel, American Pickers Star News. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. I am your friend Alana. Let's start. American Pickers star Frank Fritz's antique store has opened late, and staffers are rude to customers in his absence, as the star continues to recover from a stroke. Frank, 59, was hospitalized for a stroke on July 14 and has been in an Iowa nursing facility. Frank Fritz's store customers are complaining about the antique shop opening the U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal customers of his Illinois antique shop. Frank Fritz finds have complained during the owner's absence. One customer wrote in December 2022 on Google Reviews, it was supposed to open at 10 a.m. when we went and the lights were not on and antique sales lady was late, according to another worker. She did open up the antique sales for us, which is not heated so be prepared in the winter. There were a decent amount of actual antiques that were reasonably priced. Definitely cluttered. The staff was a. Another recently wrote, I was a huge fan of the show. I stopped in to give Frank support and see what all the buzz was about. The place looked like an episode of Hoarders. Staff was rude. Just disappointing. How is this place in business? A third complained, nothing but overpriced junk. Employees are rude. Don't waste your hard-earned money. But not all customers agreed, as another commented, friendly and helpful folks. From one franc to another, four-star rating. Another said, locals are friendly and helpful finding Fritz collection. That's also the not-so-good part. For a curiosity shop, it's hard to find because it's behind the bar in what looks like a private room. Frank's close friends filed an emergency appointment of temporary guardian and conservator for the star on August 18, claiming his decision-making capacity is so impaired from the stroke. The conservatorship papers exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun revealed plans to revamp the store. The initial plan filed by conservator Midwestone Bank read, Mr. Fritz is a well-known collector, and has numerous outbuildings full of valuable collections. The conservator has not yet inventoried those items, but plans to leave them largely as they are now, with the exception of stocking Mr. Fritz's antique store in Savannah, Isle as needed. Conservator is hopeful. Frank will be able to participate in selection and pricing of items, as he did previously. As the U.S. Sun previously reported from the conservatorship court papers, Frank had an annual income of just $60,000 from investments, per his 2021 tax return. Frank spent $28,292 monthly on expenses, including $22,832 on in-home health care. The health care alone will cost $273,984 yearly for the star, other expenses include $1,250 in food, $850 in health insurance payments, $500 in transportation, $250 in clothing, and more. But according to the court papers, Midwestone Bank provided a plan for Frank to make more money. The court papers read, Assets will be invested to start generating income for Mr. Fritz. The conservator has not inventoried Frank's many collectibles and antiques, but they plan to leave them largely as they are now. The conservator will work with the guardian to integrate Mr. Fritz into management decisions as he continues to recover. A checking account with a small balance will be available for Frank's personal use. The conservator will also work to apply for disability income for the protected person should he be eligible. When asked how long the conservatorship is expected to last, the bank responded unknown. Frank was unemployed at the time of his stroke. He had no debt listed. Frank last appeared on American Pickers during a March 2020 episode as he took time off to recover from back surgery which left him with 185 stitches and two rods in his spine. During his time off the show, Frank lost 65 pounds. He also told the U.S. Sun that he entered rehab for alcohol addiction in Yoa for 77 days. Frank revealed his feud with co-star Mike during the 2021 interview with the U.S. Sun. Frank said, 
I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. The show is tilted towards him 1,000%. I can't even bend that far down to show you how much. That's fine. It's like you've got Aerosmith, and there's Steven Tyler, and he's the front man. I found my spot, I'm second, and he's number one on the show. That's no problem with me, maybe he does have a problem. He even admitted, I think Mike wants to get his brother Robbie in there to replace me. I don't know why he's behaving like that towards me. American Pickers returned on Wednesday, January 4, after being off the air since September. Mike denied a feud and even gave hope that the fan-favorite star could return to the show after suffering the debilitating stroke. While visiting Washington, D.C. in December, Mike was asked by Capitol Paparazzi if he would be willing to make amends with Frank. Mike said, Frank and I are friends, he was just at my brother's graduation for his kids right before he got his stroke. If anybody's thinking about Frank, they should be praying for him. When asked if he would ever make a return to the popular history series, Mike replied, I would hope that he's gonna be back on the show, but right now he needs to get healthier. There's absolutely hope, 100%. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, American Pickers, and stay with us.